Hello and welcome to Software to see from Festo. This video is about the device scan section in Festo Automation Suite. Similarly to Festo Field Device Tool, it offers access to basic device actions that can be executed without having to install any plugin. And as soon as all features have been implemented, it will substitute Festo Field Device Tool in the long run. The device scan section can be reached either via the button in the start page or at any later point of time via its tab in the title bar. As soon as it is activated, the local network is scanned for Festo devices and the result is displayed in a table. If you miss a device here, please check if broadcast and multicast messages are not blocked by your network infrastructure, for example managed switches. If you select a device, the right sidebar offers access to the actions which are supported by this device. The CMMT-ST server drive, for example, does not support the reboot command, while the CPX API EP interface module supports it. Now let's have a look at some of the common actions. In device details, you can find detailed information about the device, like for example its product key, part number, network configuration, and its operating state. Via the identification function, you can toggle an LED which is then blinking on the device such that you can identify it if you've got several devices of the same kind. The reboot command reboots the device. And via firmware, you can download a new firmware into the device. For that, there is a dedicated video tutorial which you might want to check out. In network settings, you can set up the device's IP address, and device name does exactly that, change the device's name. Via support you've got access to documents which are available in, in the internet for this specific device. For that, there is also an own video tutorial. The add to project action is a little bit special because it does not trigger an action on the device itself, but it adds the device to the current project. For that, the proper plugin needs to be installed and it must be possible to establish a connection to the device. We'll give this a try in a minute, but before we do so, let's have a look at the device list. The list can be sorted by clicking on the column headers. And as you can see for some devices small triangles appear. These are devices which support scanning of subnetworks. For example the Ethercat system or AP systems. For AP modules some device actions are available in the right sidebar, but not for Ethercat slaves. That's because of technical limitations. If you want to refresh the device list, for example because you want to scan for a newly connected device, you can do so either via the refresh button in the page title bar or by pressing F5. Now let's have a look at the add to project function. I currently have the CMMTST selected here and I select add to project. And now a plugin instance is created in my project for this device and all the data is uploaded from the device. I switch over to the project section and open the device plugin. Here you see the configuration which has been uploaded from the device. Now let's do the same for the AP system. I select the CPX API EP interface module and add it to my project. And since the device supports a subnet scan, I can now import the connected modules as well. There we go, that's the AP system as it is currently connected in my network. This was a video about the device scan section in Festo Automation Suite. If you like the videos, please subscribe to our channel and keep yourself informed. See you next time. Bye bye.